What's up, YouTube? Real Monks here, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Now, it's been a while, I know it, that. But I know. It's been ages. So, is it, is it the outside? What? Listen to the outside for now. Oh, man. I'm not one here again. Don't worry, I just walked into. Are you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and not picking up piano? Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival too. Ah, oh, I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. Huh? Weren't you just complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah, I'm not talking about our part of the festival, but it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. <clears throat> True. You sound like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, did you see a fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. You're saying you don't like squid? You of all people. Eh? I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because it's right in your name. Monica. Wait, hold on. Monica. Oh my gosh, I get it. Monica. Eh? That's not even my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. Hmm? Ah, never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Sayori's anyway. Excuse me? Where is Sayori anyway? Oh, there you are. Sayori's sitting at this in the corner of the room looking down at them. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Huh? You're spacing out again. <laughs> Sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everything alright? Of course. Why wouldn't it be? This feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Gives me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Oh, alright. If you say so. I worriedly glance at you before turning back toward everyone else. But the conversation is already dispersed with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. Because they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approached Monica, who was shuffling through some papers at her desk. Hey, Monix, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? Then what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seems a little bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can see if no one's anything about her. One of her peers across the room at Sahira, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. It's in the drawing. Maybe there is something on her mind. Maybe I'm surprised I'm not that one asking you, Monix. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really like this. She always talks to me about things that bothered her. But this time when I ask her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just want to answer you anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's a point to... ...with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Eh? Are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just has a hard time bringing up the person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying maybe the thing on her mind is you, Monix. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but Sarah talks about you more than anything else, you know. Huh? <laughs> the first reaction was, eh? 
You've been so much happier ever since you joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way. She always always like that. She's always been so sunshine. It's not any different now that than it always has been. <laughs> it's so funny, Monix. How is uh, have you thought that maybe you're, you've always seen her as so cheerful? Because that's how she is when she's around you? Uh, it's too much. I'm sorry, what do I know anyway? I didn't even jump to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Ah, uh, alright. Uncle smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Siri is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Siri and gently talk to her, but she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Siri told me not to worry about her and I have and to have fun with everyone else. But that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do we care about her that I'm letting this weigh me down so much? I don't feel like I'm the one behaving out in the ordinary, but there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Sorry. Okay, everyone. I've been sometimes bad smog will cause thoughts to go through. But I know we share our poems now. Or I know everything's back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems and I do the same. I make eye contact, uh, 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 I mean, contact with Monica and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was talking to about with the Zeorik. Hmm, I should come see Yuri. I want to see if she's okay. This is your best one so far. It's really nice, Monix. Uh, thanks. Mm-hmm. Sarah, you've been a little quiet today. Is everything alright? Huh? Of course. Is everything fine? Maybe I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Do you want to nap or something? No, that's silly. Don't worry about me, okay? I only want to see smiles on your face. Well, all right. Hey, Monix. I'm still a little surprised. <clears throat> sorry, I can't speak today. It's, it, it's early. I'm sorry. It's early. I'm sorry. Why did I do my Australian voice? I really thought that you would try writing your poems like the way Yuri does. Or even Natsuki. But in the end, yeah. I guess you're the one who likes this one the most. Why? You don't want to get closer with everyone else. Wait. Of course I do. That doesn't mean I need to try so hard to impress them. I still understand the most. I still understand you the most, Sari. I know you have to sometimes put up with me. I have to sometimes put up with you. But we have a wavelength or something. It's okay, seriously? And this is how the poem came out. Sometimes it feels like you're the only exciting thing in my life. So sometimes it's just easier to write when thinking about you. Aww. Sorry. Mm, sorry, I've already known this. <laughs> this is about the topic, though. <laughs> no, Monix, I don't deserve this. You're too nice to me. Why are you doing this? Maybe I have trouble keeping your voice steady all of a sudden. If you had fun with everyone else instead, this would be so much easier. Sayori, I glance around the room to make sure nobody has noticed this. Sayori, I probably never said this before, but I don't understand what you're feeling right now. Tell me what would cheer you up. Theory takes her, take, shakes her head. She sniffles and gives her. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Finally, she gathers herself and puts on a smile. It's nothing, Monix. It's just a little rain cloud. I'm sorry to see that. <laughs> and this funny what happened again. And smiles from everyone, okay? It's all that matters. Go play with everyone else. I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Siri, tell Monica I wasn't feeling very well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. I can see Neo Siri truthfully walks out the classroom window. Classroom? Classroom window? Suck it! Just drop out the window? Suck it! What's wrong with me? <clears throat> out the classroom window, humming to herself. Um. Let's do this in order. This one's alright. Alright? Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's anyway. I see what you're going for, but it's just not really my style. I mean, that's fine. I'm mostly glad that you're trying a little bit. But of course, I'm at least trying. Why are you so emotionally invested in my poems anyway? Is that more of a compliment to me? It, it, no, gross. It's not like I care. 
That's a lie. It's just that one of us in this club has to make sure you're not slacking off. Really? What if you ended up just scaring me away? That's... Um... It's not like you would actually do that. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of fun to hang out here, even if I had to put up with you. <laughs> oh, can I my stomach? Oh, maybe I won't mind scaring you away after all. I was joking. No, I know. Don't worry, I was too. <laughs> what the hell do you call that a joke? That seriously hurt. Well, maybe it was funny to hurt. <clears throat> I guess that's the kind of point. I should really just watch my mouth around that suki. Anyway, it's a good word to poem out to me like nothing ever happened. Okay, I've got another poem. I'll be your beach. Your mind is so full of troubles and fear that diminish your wonder over the years. But today, I have a special place. A beach for us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight. A sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will mount away before the sun, sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream, that you, you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap. In a way you thought I had left you long ago. Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a place of hollow sand. Bathe in sunbeams and hold my hand. And watch your insecurities in the salty sea. And let me see you shine. Let's leave your memories in the footprint trail. Let's set you free in my windy sail. And remember the reasons you're wonderful. When you press your lips up to mine. I'll be in touch that washes your worries away. I'll be in the beach. That you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought... I had left you long ago, but if you let me be by your side, if you let me by your side, your own beach, your own escape, you'll learn to love yourself again. <laughs> yeah, I felt like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice message for once. Besides, the beach is awesome. <laughs> Couldn't hard to read anything negative about the beach. So you decided to write about the beach first and then came up with a message later. Yeah, well, it's only because of what happened yesterday. After Yuri and I realized we kind of wrote about the same thing. I want to pick a topic that was both right about it, or whatever. Ugh, you can really see you doing that too. I think it's right about a simple topic, then trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. I'm sorry, are you questioning my authority? I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of metaphorical too. Besides, something wrong with doing that once in a while. At the very least, it was good practice. Who should I show who's next? Yuri. <clears throat> well done, Monix. You definitely improved your writing over the course of these few days. Has my advice been helpful to you? Yeah, definitely. I'm glad. Sharing my writing like this. It's a lot more fun and rewarding than I anticipated. I need to remember to thank Monica. I think we all felt a little awkward at first. But now it seems like everyone is enjoying sharing their writing and seeing what others think. I guess I can, can't really disagree. I was afraid this whole thing would be a chore. But it's a great way for me to spend more personal time with all the girls in the club. But it's been fun getting to know everyone and their writing. And I guess doing some writing myself. Well, have you learned anything about yourself, Monix? But, well, you know how I like to say that writing is a very personal way to get in touch with yourself. But in the end, it doesn't matter if you're a good writer or a bad writer. And even my opinions are just opinions, you know? As always, I believe that... Uh, I believe what's most important is exploring and discovering yourself. That's comforting. I'm kind of afraid of disappointing you in some way or, or another. But why me? Well, you're always sophisticated with your writing and have the most advice to share. Is that so? Mm. Your things for a good minute. 
That must be terrible. Huh? But maybe I've become someone whose opinion is fearsome. How unlikable of me. Yuri, it's not as bad as you're making it sound in your head. I just meant I respect your opinion. I see. I'm sorry that I always overthink and come to those sorts of conclusions. I'm just a little too used to it. Overthinking? Being just like, Yuri, what, what am I saying? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring that up. Let's move on. Alright, do you want to show your poem now? Okay, here. Beached. Oh gosh, it's impressive. You can see a more so millions of years in the making where the womb of Earth chaotically meets the surface under the clear blue skies and expanse of bliss. Under a. Okay, but beneath great rolling clouds? An endless enigma, the easiest world to get lost in is one where everything can be found okay hold on guys i'm trying give me a second i'm trying my best one can only build a sand castle where the sand is wet but where the sand is wet the tide comes will it gently lick at your foundations until you give in or will a sudden wave send you crashing down in the blink of an eye Either way, the outcome is the same, yet we still build sandcastles. I stand where the foam wraps around my ankles, where my toes squish into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic. The breeze is gentle yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary line, tempted by the foaming tendrils turn back and I abandon my peace to no at the shore drift forward and I return to earth furthermore okay there you go I got it you can't judge me now um I'm aware that the beach is kind of an inane thing to write about but I do my best to take a metaphorical approach to it man it's okay you already told me about it she did she didn't say anything weird, did she? She just wanted us to write about the same topic again. I suppose to better compare the differences in our writing styles or thought processes. Anyway, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's no surprise that she'd want to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. It's not like I have a particular interest in the writing style. I just went with her request, but... Well, I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion. It can be refreshing, you know? It's good for me to calm my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing. Son of a bitch! Hi, Monix. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people I'll have to give it some other thought, some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But if you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sorry, I'm not gonna take the poem one in my hand. <laughs> it's kind of funny. How so? No, not the poem. I mean, it's funny how your poems and series poems have been getting more and more similar to each other, uh, uh, to, uh, each other every day. I'm surprised you're so in sync with her. But then again, you've been spending a lot of time together lately, haven't you? I guess you could say that. Although, we kind of grew up as best friends. I haven't been seeing as much of her this past year. But since I joined the club, we've been spending a lot of time together again. I see, I see. That reminds me. But well, so you're even a little off today. Did she tell you something? Uh, well... Alex, you haven't been flirting with her, have you? Of course not! I've been treating her like I always do. Alright. Just making sure you're... Why are you making sure, girl? You've been dating. Deal with it. I know how much you care about her. It would be terrible if something bad happened to her, so keep an eye on her. She's been acting so much happier ever since you joined the club. What could have happened all of a sudden? Well, never mind. 
This really isn't the time to be talking about this. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Uh, alright. Oh, this is a long one, ain't it? This is a long one. Yeah, this is a long one. Oh, oh, Jay's? Okay. I can believe that this is in the scrap. Okay. The lady who knows everything. No tale tells of a lady who wanders earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather. Lost to drift the sky, victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day, I search. I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains. The last dim star glimmering in the twilight, in the will it night until it's sky until one day the wind ceases to blow I fall and I fall and fall and fall even more gentle as a feather a dry quill expressionless but the hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger the hand of a beautiful lady I look at her eyes and find me no end to her games oh geez my voice getting deep sorry the lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking before I can speak, she responds to in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat. I pick up a gust of wind. You know, I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sort of things that give life meaning. Not to get too phil phil uh, philosophical or anything. But I was kind of on the uh, service, but it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. I never really put much thought into it. You know, in a way, it's almost paradoxical. Because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. <laughs> are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two dim dimensional creatures. <clears throat> I think you know that better than anyone. I mean, one dimensional. Uh, yeah, that. Anyway, here's one because thanks for today. Are you ever just shy to share your writing because you're afraid that it's not good? It's really heartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. But instead of telling, just telling you that your writing is good, or okay, or bad, they want to focus more on everything that went into it, and the things you can work on. So it's more encouraging that way, and it will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. <coughs> Sorry, cut my throat. Okay, you three, we're all done sharing poems, right? Now let me start figuring out. Hold on a second. Did this may, or did you say something strange just now? Huh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You three can use your catchphrase when I'm just in the club. C catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jays, why is the mood so weird today? Look, even you're reading me into it. <sighs> Stagnant air is common for shadowing, there's something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Jerry's near. Oh, it seems you're right. <sighs> See, Ori is always, so, always helps lighten the mood a bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. What the heck did she run off to anyway? Oh, she just went to pay. I right, took so you, please show some decency. Oh, come on! Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well, and she went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? The old times to not go to not go home with her? You picked the time she's not feeling well? So much for you to being all lovey dovey. Uh, no! First of all, something's been saying my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Oh. That curious expression coming from Yuri of all people. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier and everything's fine. What'd you say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparation, so... Wait. You're avoiding my question. What did you say? <clears throat> I 
Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. But we might need a lot of them in different flavors. Can you handle all that by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and selling all poetry pamphlets. Say we'll be helping me design them. And it's for Eerie. Eerie, you can... Uh, um... Huh? Guys, can you get me going for Eerie? I... I'm useless. No! That's not at all. You're the most talented person here, you know? Seriously? Now that Suki's probably too... Too soon, too. I said I never received you really enough credit. But I can tell things are even harder when she's not around. Uh, that may be the case. But if I can also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri, you're beautiful handwriting, you know? So you, should, so you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that. I... I love atmosphere. Your expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk and focuses on starts to body body to herself. Your mind is already raging, I see. That's great! You would be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, I just lose demonics. The one who true the one who is truly useless. <laughs> Don't say that. In fact, both the chicken Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It'll probably go a long way from the You could probably help me out as well. Girl, you're just making fucking pamphlets. That takes like what, like not even a few it takes a few hours. You just like make them pamphlets, a few different pamphlets, copy, paste them, and keep on just copy pasting the different fucking things and just Keep on copying them into the freaking printing. Boom, stamp them on the wall. You're good. It's simple, it's easy. I don't know why you need. <laughs> okay, I'm just messing with it. I'm just messing with it, okay? Ah, uh, that's. If one of the are spending the weekend with one of my club members, how on earth did anyone respond to a suggestion like that? Ah, uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know what to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give to you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. And so you try some mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, I recall, Natsuki. You mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Monica. Uh, why did I make my name close to Monica? Jeez. Monix may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may not be. Ugh, he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Oh, it's hard. Trust me, I've done it before. <clears throat> Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Monix too. What are you saying? It would be extremely malicious work. And biking isn't. So do you think? Guys, guys, let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Monix to decide how he'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet. You know, I don't like you. I don't trust you. Something's going on, I don't like you. The other two seem like they're freaking torches over here, but I don't like you. So I'm sure he's interested in. You literally just said. I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Monix, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. <laughs> Very well. In that case, I'm gonna go with the Sayori. No, Sayori's working with Monica. I've removed from text. Monica's doing the same thing. So, digging help. Digging the easiest work. So, it's between Natsuki and Yuri. So, she's just baking. I mean, this, I bake all the time, so it's not really that hot. It's kinda. It's fun. So, I mean. Yuri's doing a whole bunch of decorations. That's gonna be pretty. Quite a handful. So I'm gonna go with Yuri. Well, I'll probably be most useful helping out Yuri. Me? Are you serious? Why would you? Natsuki, I can already tell you about this. Mm -hmm. no, no. I was just saying. Ugh. So you'll be helping Yuri then, Monix? Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of rethinking these sort of things. So I think your assistance will be very helpful. Useful. That's great to hear. Natsuki, will you be able to handle the making it yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said I would be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki's feeling a bit, a little sour. So, is that everything we need to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? 
Well, exciting may not be the right word, but I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. You feel the same way, Monix? Me? I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it will turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? Mm. Natsuki? What? Why is someone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. N no, that's not what I mean. No, no. Uh, you anxiously glanced between everyone in the room. I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why Mom picked me. And also, your girl is the best girl I've ever had. They go really well with my team. And nothing that I do for the event will compare to that, so... So... I get it, I get it. That's a prize, though. Why? Um, well, I'm the one acting in the chair. I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden? I, I know I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. But Tsuki isn't the only one surprised. Why well, couldn't I also take him aback by Yuri's words? Yeah, it's a Monica's face it doesn't seem like it. She just looks like she's staring at my face and I don't like it. It's creepy. When she already has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up must be far out of her own comfort zone. But I'm getting to understand. It was trying to sound like scary. Even if it didn't work out per uh, even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something so you wouldn't say it at a time like this. The scary always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No, I kind of appreciated it. I'm sorry for making a big deal of nothing. But I'm gonna say this. Hmm? You better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. Uh, I believe you. Yeah, I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's only more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Alright, let's get out of here then. They went packs up their things. I started to follow Monica and Ensuke at the door as they chat between each other. Um, huh? I turn around. Sorry. I really said I don't have any way of contacting this weekend. Oh, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? I think that would be the best way, yes. Alright then. You're gonna exchange phone numbers. Okay. Then I'll stop by your house on Sunday. Huh? What? My house? Is that a problem? No, not at all. I just thought that I would be the one in your house and I'm the one helping you. I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I'll prefer going to your house. For what reason, Yuri? For what reason? Alright. In that case, it won't be a problem. I decided to press Yuri for a reason. It's not like it shouldn't matter much either way, so I will just need to make sure my room is clean. I hope I can manage myself useful in some way. I'm not really as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, Monix. I think that we'll make a very productive team. Even if you only chose me because you felt bad or something. Wait, you don't actually think that, do you? I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. You're forgetting the reason with the most common sense. I chose you to help you because that's what I want to do. But, but, you rethink to yourself in an extremely tense expression. You're, you're overthinking this. You want me to point out? When you're overthinking, right? Uh, I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I. You think really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. Uh, as if it took her tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah. I am too. After that exchange, I make my way out of the door and Yuri follows. I can't believe this. Yuri's going to be coming to my house on Sunday? My anxiety shoots to the roof. Even though I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point, there's no telling what might end up happening when we're outside of school. Or than that, she told me that she was looking forward to it. It's a chance I have to make something happen to us. Oh boy! Oh boy! <laughs> Or is it too early for that? Probably too early, even if it's just three days, so... Like a week, I guess, I think. Only time will tell. But until then, I won't be able to make... to my mind out of it. Off it. I seriously can't wait.